Hello, I got my butcher box for December and I'll show you everything that I got. This, everything I show you was $123. I did have a credit um, from a referral, so that was nice. I had a $50 credit and let me show you everything. This was one of my counts. So I have the, I believe it's six count box. I think there's six and eight counts and you can pick and choose what cuts of meat you want in there. So for one of them, I chose the pre-cooked diced chicken breast. I haven't done the diced ones yet, but I have done the whole chicken breast and they went over well with the family. Um, the, these are um, one and a half pounds each. So it's three pounds of diced pre-cooked chicken, which is great for quick, easy meals. Another thing that I picked was the cod and the cod is two pounds. So it's Alaska cod, so this was one count. And then the grilled chicken breast. This is a one and a half pound package, and this is also counted as one count of meat. And then two pounds of ground turkey also counts as one thing of your meat. And then the pork breakfast sausage. This is, um, these are each one pound, so two pounds of pork breakfast sausage. Again, that counts as one of your counts. And then the last one that I picked for my like regular box order is a three pound package of boneless, skinless chicken breast. And you can see that they're kind of broken up. They're about one pound each. It's actually a total of 3.16 pounds, so just a little over three pounds. So those are what I got for my standard box. And then I get free pound, free ground beef for the life of my membership. So every time I place an order, I get two pounds of ground beef for free. And then the bone broth was on sale. So I picked one of those up. I wanna say this was like $4. And then the chicken breast strips, I did a deal for, I believe it's a year I paid a certain price and then I get one of these in every shipment that I get. So I got those. And then bacon, I think I paid like a one-time fee and it's for the life of my membership that I get a thing of bacon in every order. So that is everything that I got in this butcher box. If you wanna try butcher box, I do have a code for $50 off your first purchase if you sign up by the end of this year. So you can check in the description box and you will find that there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. We just got back from running to the discount grocery store. I will show you what we got. We spent a total of $39.90. So first things that we got were four tubes of crescent rolls. These were each 99 cents. When you bought four of them, it was, um, I'm sorry, four for three is what it was. So actually cheaper than 99 cents. So honey butter, we got two of them and two sweet Hawaiian. So that was three dollars then we got four bags of the family size of the Chex Mix so they were two for five we did this twice so ten dollars for four bags of the family size Chex Mix my family's been going through this pretty quickly so we picked that up then we got two of the regular size bags of the sweet and salty mix these were $1.99 a piece so $3.98 then my husband wanted the cinnamon toast crunch rolls cereal. This was $1.99. And then we got a bag of broccoli and carrots. And this is $1.49. We will want to make sure we use this up relatively quickly. The date is the 5th, but they looked good. So that's why I grabbed it. Some of them didn't look very good, but this one still looked good. Then I got a salad kit. For $1.99, this is the Endless Summer Salad Kit. And then a bag of Rainbow Baby Carrots. And this was um, $1.99 as well. Then we got one box of the Annie's Strawberry Shortcake Waffles. This was $1.99. If you bought three of them, it would have been three for five, which would have been a better deal, but we just didn't have room in our freezer, so we only got one of those. Then we got a eight count of the Jimmy Dean bacon, egg, and cheese croissant sandwiches. This was $7.99. And then a four count of the English muffin ones, and this was $3.99. And then the last thing that we got there is a 12 count of the David's Deli original um, English muffins, 12 of them in there for $1.49. 
So that's everything that we got at the discount grocery store. And I'm just realizing, let's see, three, six, nine, twelve. Oh, okay, I thought there was one extra one in there. Uh, 12 of them in there. So that was $39.90. That's everything that we got at the discount grocery store. And now I will show you everything that we got at Aldi. Now for the Aldi portion. Um, in total, we spent $103.58, which really isn't too bad because some of it is for Christmas baking, for Christmas celebrations, a Christmas gift, something for our elf on the shelf, and then pajamas for my daughter to wear for pajama day at church. So, I will just start at the top of my receipt and go down. The first thing that I got is some cornflakes. These are $2.19, and these are for Christmas baking. And Aldi is by far the cheapest place to get cornflakes. So, if you have an Aldi and you need them for baking, go there. Then the next thing is a box of rice squares, so like checks for puppy chow, for... Christmas baking, do you call it puppy chow or do you call it muddy buddies? That is the debate in our house. I call it puppy chow, my husband calls it muddy buddies. Uh, $2.75 for that. Then I also got a box of Rice Krispies. These are for Scotcheroo, or um, yeah, Scotcheroos. I think that's what they're called. The ones with like the peanut butter Rice Krispies with chocolate on the top. And these were $1.95. I grabbed two different K cups. They had a gingerbread and an eggnog, and these were $4.19 a piece. So I thought these would be um, delicious for my husband to have. So we can throw these in our K cup stash. Then the next thing is some salsas. We are having appetizers at my mother-in-law's when we celebrate Christmas there. And so I am bringing chips and salsa as one of the appetizers. So we picked up three things of salsa. These were each $2.49. We did a black bean and corn. We did a pineapple. And then just a regular restaurant style. So these were each $2.49. And that will be going with for that. Then I got two bags of corn tortilla chips to go along with that for $5.98. So together, that was $5.98, so $2.99 each bag. I picked up two of those. Then the next thing is we were running low on ramen, and this is $3.09 for the ramen. We don't do a ton of ramen, but since I'm working a lot and my husband is home with the kids, they do ramen for dinner sometimes. Then uh, frosting, we needed frosting for our sugar cookies. And I always just buy store-bought frosting because then I don't have to worry about, um, it's well-preserved so they can just sit and it's fine. Um, so these were $1.49 a piece, just the plain vanilla. And that's what we'll use for frosting the sugar cookies. Then the next thing is some cheese slices. My family eats a lot of sandwiches for lunches, so I needed some more cheese slices. These are the organic Colby Jack, and these are $2.35 a piece. And the next thing is some coffee creamer. My husband was out of coffee, or just about out of coffee creamer. This is the sweet cream, um, delightfully pure. So the only thing in this is milk, cream, sugar. So. Um, this is $3.45. And then um, we picked up this Connect 4 for our elves to um, use. We do Elf on the Shelf. And this was $3.99. They had some other cute games, but I didn't want to spend more than $3.99. So I only got one of them. Then we got a thing of ham. This is one pound of ham for $5.49. This is the cheapest I've been able to find. Um, Nitrate and nitrite free lunch meat for this price, $5.49 is a really good deal. I do get it at Target sometimes and with my discount it's close to the same price but still not quite as cheap. And then a thing of cream cheese because we have a lot of bagels still in our freezer, $1.89. A thing of heavy whipping cream, they had a different brand this time. This is $4.69, this is Shamrock Farms. And I didn't even check to see, um, yeah, it does. It has the Kerogene in it, but so does the Aldi brand. So 
once we get into our house, I'm hoping I can go back to getting the one from Whole Foods. But for right now, this is what we're doing. Four sixty nine. dollars I just like to keep heavy cream on hand for baking and all sorts of different things. And then some orange juice. Um, the orange juice was $3.29. My family likes the no pulp kind. We are out of that. And then these cookies are for a Christmas event at our church. Every family needs to bring one package of cookies or one batch of homemade cookies tomorrow. And I just don't have time to bake cookies. So this is what we're doing, $3.95. I could have made cookies cheaper, but also our oven here is finicky. So I wasn't going to mess with it. So we just bought those. Pineapples were on sale for $1.69. So I picked up one of those. I probably should have got two. And then this was $14.99. So this is a Christmas gift for our son. So this contributed to the higher amount that we spent. Like I said, that's fine. It's a Christmas gift. So it doesn't, isn't really part of the grocery budget, but I just rang everything up together. Then we grabbed this gingerbread bread and this was $3.99. So it's a little more expensive, but being that it's seasonal, I wanted to grab it now. And then a thing of bananas. This is uh, just shy of three pounds of bananas and it was $2.09. And then the final thing that I got is just a pajama set for my daughter to wear for pajama day at church. She doesn't have Christmas ones to wear until Christmas Eve. We give them new jammies every year. So I picked these up. These were $12.99. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And they're cute and they're soft. Um, so before tax, it was $101.99. There was $1.59 in tax. So total was $103.58. Like I said, though, a lot of it is for baking, for Christmas gatherings, Christmas gifts, pajamas, the cookies. So not all of it was our grocery budget for the week. So that's everything that we got at Aldi. And I'll see you at the next one.